What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, when we left off, we had successfully rescued another fellow Kerbal Knot. Um, and so now we're moving into our next project. We don't have any uh, available new quest things, but we have a bunch that are active. Now, wait just a minute. Has small gear bay landed at the... I thought we did that. Oh, uh, no. We tested decouplers. Dang it. <sighs> Alright, well... Um, Minmus is our next moon. Um, it's not a planet or whatever. It's our next moon area. So I'm kind of thinking... I'm kind of thinking we'll move into that and try and go for Minmus this time. Uh, we have about 900,000 to work with. I don't know why I can't move. Uh, can I load up one of my old ones? We can get rid of that, whatever that is. Can we not get rid of that? Okay, I must have canceled Derby. Um, don't I have a Moonraker or a Moonlander? Moonraker. Five and six content contains locked or invalid parts. Let's load this up and then go from there and see what all we can and can't do. Oh, wait, did it? What is it? What did it do? So, what parts are locked or unavailable? I'm trying to remember how well this performed. I think we did okay on it, but the... I think we didn't use this one too much. I don't know, we're gonna maybe try it. Just do a little test run. Uh, do we have any more... Now, what is locked though? Is it the jet engines? Oh, it's... These, maybe. Wait a minute, what did it say? It said something about locked or invalid parts. But it doesn't tell me what parts are locked or invalid. Let's get rid of that. We don't need any of this. Um, and let's check our objectives real quick. Yeah, we know about the parachute. Rocco Max over Kerbin. Solid fuel booster. Radial decoupler. In flight over Kerbin. These are all Kerbin. 16 million in flight over Kerbin. Another parachute over Kerbin. Everything's over Kerbin. Electric ion engine system on suborbital trajectory over Kerbin. Explore Duna, Ike. We'll leave Minmus. I think all of these are... Okay, that's Escape from the Moon. I thought we did all that. I guess we got two new ones. Alright, so it's basically just Minmus, then, is our main one we're going for here. Take those off. Alright, Science. We do have some more stuff. Okay, good. We'll add that. That's 600. That's 300. Oh, we do have... A... We do have a lab, but I want to bring it back. So I don't think we'll need the lab. Um, let's call this... The... Minmus... Breaker. Mark 1. Save that out. I think everything looks fine. The staging should all be set up correctly, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Alright, roster. Let's get Murfert in here. Where'd he go? Murfert! Murfert! 
I know I just saw him. I looked right at him. There you go. There he is! Our cowardly stupid guy. It's great. Um... Yeah, I think we should be good. Alright, let's try this. Okay, so we are here on the pad. Let's go ahead and... Bastards! Uh, while we're doing that... You know what, though? <sighs> I always forget to check my orbital trajectory before launching. So, if this doesn't work... It's probably because I haven't actually tested to make sure we are going in the right direction when we're supposed to be going there. Boosters are toast. Let's throttle up. I think that's how we do it. Is that how we do it? Well, um, see you guys back on the ground. Okay, so it occurs to me that the last time I used this model, we killed the engines before doing... Eh, that's how we did it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay. Right, right, right. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I, th I think. I'm a little concerned about getting out to Minmus's orbit with just this, but we'll see. I mean, I, s I made a save before I did any of this. Nose caps came off, I guess. Um, I made a save before we did any of this, though. So if it doesn't work, we can always just revert it back. And, um, do it that way. And at some point I need to actually go back and recover all of this, because I've had a few launches where I've dropped debris and stuff that I can probably get back. Uh, I just never seem to go back and get them. Do I even have RCS on this? I don't think I do. like an 80 or 90 uh, kilometer apoapsis, then we'll start making our orbit. I think, how's our fuel on? Pretty good. Pretty good on the fuel. Okay, let's do... let's do a happy medium. Let's do 85. That's good. I like it. Come on. You can do it. Crap, man. We need to, like, start burning. We're at the halfway point. Alright, we're just gonna start burning. And there we go. Forget there's a way to do the physical speed up. Is it alt? Yeah. Okay. It's alt and the time period thing. I do find it a little ironic that the um, period button is what controls the time period. <laughs> eh. Did you see what I did there? All right. How's our feel? Oh. Glad I checked. Okay, now 
this could prove problematic only because it's going to take us longer with this little engine because I kind of forgot that little engine was there. I was thinking it was another big one like, oh that's a smaller one too isn't it? Oh that's a skipper! Why did I... oh this was a staging one I was trying to get the contract work for. Dang it. Alright well uh, I'm gonna pause it let this run out and then uh, see where we're at. Alrighty, so we managed to get this to a 76,000 and a 142,000. So we should be above the orbit point because I believe for Kerbin it is uh, 70, I think. So now we get the, the fun part, which is to try and get a node that gets us out to Minmus. Woo! Or into the great beyond. <laughs> Alright. So that should be okay on distance, I think. Now the first thing I want to do is just try and move this node around and see if we happen to get a point... Oh, that's horrible. What happened there? Oh, the orbit trajectory changes. That's weird. Hey, look, we got a moon encounter. Yay! Alright, let's maybe... Do this? I don't know. I'm... Whoop! Well, that works. It's just not the most efficient way to do it. Okay. Can we move this around? That's a moon. I need a Minmus encounter, not a moon encounter. Alright. Whoop. Nope. Nope. Don't want that. Okay, so one thing we can do here, I think, is to change the angle. I'm doing that wrong here. Let's bring it this way. If we change the angle a bit, we should be able to make this a bit more of an efficient burn because we'll be more... Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, crazy thing? Okay, um, so what I'm basically trying to do is match the arc for Minmus's orbit, and then we want to bring in, what is this, escape, 22 days, 5 hours, 22 days, 1 hour. I don't know if that'll be enough. But we should be more on the angle that we need to be now, I think. Maybe we could use a little bit more... Wait a minute, is that the right... I think I'm doing this wrong. I can't tell, where's my... That's another encounter that's a pretty good one. So, as you can kind of see... I don't really know why I'm making this sound like I'm doing a tutorial, because I'm actually pretty bad at doing this right. So, if I'm, if I'm being horrible about this, just don't even worry about it. <laughs> if this is helping, great! If it's not, then yeah, I apologize. Okay, I think that's what we'll do, I think. So I'm going to pause it and uh, come back when we're set up. Alright, so we are right in line with how I want to do this. The only question now is going to be fuel limit. Um, I'm going to quick save that because 
our little poodle engine here is not doing wonderful on fuel, but it also doesn't use a lot. Um, so I'm going to speed this up. Let's see if we can't... Now we're going to drop this one, and we're going to have to watch this because this sucker's going <laughs> to make us go. I'm hoping we'll be able to hold a little bit of this fuel tank, um, because... Alright, let me quick save this here. If we can hold a little of that fuel tank left, we can use it for... I think I'm off somewhere. The question is, does it matter? There's that node. Go away. Whoops! Crap! Okay, um... Come on, ship. Come on, ship! You can do it! That's the only problem with using these bigger engines for stuff like this, for these... Like micro corrections is because you can kind of end up going way past where you want to be. Okay, fine. I want to go a little bit further than that. Encounter four hours, escape one hour. I'm gonna quick save it. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. All right, so I'm gonna instead of doing all that, I'm gonna reload it and then we'll head back, or uh, I'll come back when we're on our way to Minmus. Okay. So, we are almost at our Minmus encounter. This is 2 hours and 16 minutes. It's fire. So I think we have like 3 hours to do our burn. Which is kind of good. And... Blunk. Okay. Save this. 3 hours. Yeah, roughly. Now if we add a maneuver here and burn... It doesn't tell us how long this is going to take. So I'm going to quick save it here, just in case. Get our seals lined up. Use our lovely little warp trick that I love and adore so much. Quick save it again. Speed ourselves up. Because as long as we have fuel in the mainsail, we should be pretty good on um, yeah, it won't take us very long to burn this off, which is really good. Alright, so we are in orbit. Now. Now, now, now. Hold on. Explore Minmus. Achieve an orbit around Minmus. Oh, okay. Um, what was it we were looking for? Minmus. Transmit or recover scientific data. Ah, come back. Scientific data from space around Minmus. Land on Minmus, transfer or recover. Okay, so let's go into here. Let's use one of our mystery goos. Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, wow. Recovery is 40 science. We're keeping that. So that works for that. Now we need to land on Minmus. And... We need to land on it, do some science-y stuffs. And if I do it right, we might actually not land in the dark. Or complete darkness. Possibly. Wow, that takes one second. Those are the kinds of burns I can get behind. That is pretty cool. Alrighty. So yeah, that will take care of that. And then we can land on Minmus, get some science, do an EVA report, do a sample, all that good stuff. And then we should be able to 
head back. How is our fuel situation? If we can pull this off, this is a really heavy thruster for me. Like, it's not a little poodle or one of the 30 thrust. I think it's like 650. So, I am not entirely confident that we can land on this, but with the amount of fuel that we have, I really want to wait till we're almost practically crashing and then boost to burn off the, the excess speed and then just very lightly land and then we could use this to get back and not even have to touch our main fuel line which would be amazing uh, but I think we're about out of time for this episode so I'm going to go ahead and save it here and we will pick this up next time so in the meantime I hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and I will see you all later peace